Hi guys, uh, I decided this time that I will uh, try to film this video in English and in German because it's like really triggering for me and it's easier to uh, to talk about stuff um, by like um, switching into another language where I can like distance more from uh, from what I'm feeling about the topic uh, that I'm gonna talk about. So let's start. I'm sorry I have not uh, spoken English fluently since uh, I don't know a couple of years so um, but let's try. Um, I would like to talk with you about ethnos which means um, eating disorder not other specific sites. Specific. Um, Aussprache ist schwierig. <laughs> ich uh, bei romanischen Sprachen habe ich weniger Akzent, ich weiß, aber um, okay. Let's uh, so let's talk about Ethnos. Um, the thing is, I was watching a movie here. It's it's called like um, Flesh and Bone or stuff. I think it's Flesh and Bone in English, Haut und Knochen in German, and it's about a young girl who de uh, develops an eating disorder, but because uh, of her like uh, body image um, uh, and her self view um, and uh, how do you say it in English um, well nobody notice, notices it because she's not like the typical anorectic girl she does not li look like a supermodel she does, does not like uh, someone you are put you, you uh, would put into the box of like anorectic uh, eating disordered, bulimic stuff, and I think that's very important because if you have um, ethnos, you infect people don't notice it uh, bec uh, until it's almost too late because the the people don't look skinny, they don't look uh, like um, supermodels. Uh, actually, they some eat, some don't, some binge and purge. Some just starve themselves, but um, a, uh, the criteria for ethnos is that there is not a significant weight, weight loss, so that you cannot see that the person is like eating disordered or not a gain of weight, like there's also binge eating and stuff. And so it's like a mixed form of eating disorders and it is often developed after a uh, traumatic ex experience, especially um, with their own body, uh, bullying, um, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, uh, problems within the um, family construct, daddy issues, <laughs> if you... Yeah, that, that sounds like... Um, not very professional, but in fact it is the case. So, let's let's say it. Um, yeah. And I think um, the main problem about ethnos is that it is not taken serious. Uh, there are even nurses and doctors who are still blaming uh, people with ethnos and telling them just lose weight or just you you are not skinny enough to have an eating disorder and. It's really, really not a joke. It, it's not a joke. It's really serious because you can die from an eating disorder with a normal weight. That's uh, absolutely possible because it does not depend. Uh, your you, the the function of your body does not depend on um, how skinny you are. If you don't eat for like three, four weeks, you can have an, a, a collapse and go to the hospital or yeah, die in the worst case. And I know some people who died um, who were in an, uh, what, what p doctors and people call average weight, not uh, in, an, in, a, in a status that you would uh, recognize as an anorectic uh, body. So, yeah, in dem Sinne, um, den Abschluss würde ich gerne mal auf Deutsch machen. Um, ich würde halt wirklich sagen, jede, jede Essstörung muss... Guckt mal, Leute, meine Haare sind zum Teil ausgefallen. My hair... Um, I lost a lot of my hair. I had beautiful, like, curly, long hair when I was a teenager. And because of the eating disorder and of the post-traumatic stress disorder, they fell off. And now I have, like... 
I mean, I try to fix it and I try to style them every day, but it's it's not what what it was before, and I think it will never be uh, like that before. Uh, you lose your ability to become a mother. You cannot bear children anymore, and yeah. Also, Leute, es ist wirklich nicht witzig und ähm, wie gesagt, ich appelliere wirklich an euch, jede Essstörung ernst zu nehmen, zu 100%. Prozent. Sieht, man sieht den Leuten das nicht an. Die können todkrank sein, die können immer noch super sporty aussehen oder die können immer noch ähm, curvy aussehen oder Bulimiker sind ja auch oft aufgedunsen im Gesicht, aber der Körper ist total abgemagert und man kann es tatsächlich nicht sagen. Das sind wirklich, das sind Geschichten, die kommen äh, durch posttraumatische Belastungsstörung und äh, verschiedene Formen von Missbrauch, wie ich ja schon berichtet habe. Und in der Hinsicht, Leute, bitte niemals Vorteile haben. Jede Essstörung ist ernst zu nehmen. Jede Essstörung, egal wie der Körper aussieht, Leute, alle sind gleich gefährlich. So, peace out, ich bin draußen.